Big time actresses are often smart business women too. They might come up with a clothing line, sometimes a fragrance brand, or sit down for this, maybe both. But there's one Hollywood legend who put the rest of Tinseltown to techie shame. Aside from being one of the biggest movie stars of her day, she was also an inventor. Without her, your why might not be phi, and your tooth might not be blue. Her name was Hetty Lamar, an Austrian film actress who stormed Hollywood in the 1930s, becoming a huge movie star, working with the likes of Jimmy Stewart, Spencer Tracy, and Clark Gable. I came here to ask you to marry me. But there were plenty of brains beneath all that beauty, because Hetty's idea provided the foundation for the Bluetooth and GPS technology that is omnipresent today. From our headquarters at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan, I spoke with author Richard Rhodes, who chronicled this tale in his book, Hetty's Folly, The Life and Breakthrough Inventions of Hetty Lamar. Richard, thank you for joining us. Hi, thanks, Mo. So Richard, let's get into Hetty's innovation. She was a major star at the beginning of World War II. What inspired her to move from the movie set into the lab? She was constantly coming up with inventive ideas. In 1940, when Europe was at war, but the United States was still neutral, the Germans began torpedoing English shipping, even civilian shipping. She was aware that there was a real problem with, with torpedoes at the time. They had no way to be guided once they left a submarine or a surface vessel. So she decided that what she could contribute would be a radio-guided torpedo, which could be launched and guided to its target. But she was also aware that the problem with radio control was that it was easy to jam the signal. Hetty's idea was if the signal could hop around from frequency to frequency and could be synced with the torpedo's receiver, then the signal wouldn't be jammable because no one would be able to keep up with all the changes of frequency. Hetty Lamar worked with concert pianist composer George Antile to create a device that worked much like a piano player, where a moving strip of paper with punch holes dictate which piano keys are played. Their mechanism used a narrow strip of tape with similar holes to quickly hop or change radio frequencies, and it was small enough to fit inside a pocket watch. Hetty's invention didn't see the light of day until a decade later, the Navy needed a way to jam radio transmissions between ships at sea. They brought Hetty's idea out of mothballs, using it during a nail-biting moment in American history. The ships that were on station during the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1961 were equipped with frequency hopping radios. And Hetty's frequency hopping innovation is literally hopping all around us right now. Frequency hopping and its and its kind of more sophisticated successor, which is called spread spectrum, that is used today in Bluetooth in cell phones, in GPS, and the idea originated with Hetty Lamar. Well, Richard, I'll think of Hetty every time I use my GPS to find the nearest donut shop. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure, thank you.